Flying at the limit also has a technical challenge. Air race expert Steve Jones discloses the secrets of the EFIS system. One of the most important systems fitted to all of these race aircraft is the electronic flight instrumentation system, the EFIS, the EFIS. Let's go and have a look at the one that's fitted to Nicholas Ivanov's Edge 540. Once this data reaches the ground, it's used for two main purposes. Firstly, to assist the race director in his judging, has the pilot exceeded the start speed limit? Has the pilot exceeded the 12G limit? The EFIS system, very important for the start. You'll see the pilot with his left hand altering the throttle of the engine, how much power the engine is developing to get that start speed exactly 230 miles an hour, or as close as he can get it. Once in the track, the pilot won't be using this EFIS at all. He hasn't got time to look inside the cockpit. He'll be looking outside all the time. But at the end of the race, he can dial up on here the, his race time, his sector times, and individual times between gates. Basically, you're hearing on your headset, you know, nine, eight, seven, you know, going, pushing the limits. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten G over G, knock it off. It's, all, it, it's also quite clever because it's also warning us about the OVG, possible OVG experience. So we've seen that the EFIS downloads information, it sends information to the ground, but also it has the capability of receiving messages from the ground. The race director can type a message which will appear on the pilot's screen in front of him. So for example, if the pilot were to have problems with his radio, the race director can call him into the track, send a message, clear into the track, smoke on. Some teams are doing a lot more than that. Some teams are also downloading all of their engine health monitoring data in real time, many times a second, so that their technicians in the hangar, on the ground, can monitor the engine during the race. The fact that your technician is looking at your engine performance real time, and he could be able to eventually in the future to warn you of potential dangers. Also, the position information from this unit is used to produce those amazing overlays that we see of simulated aircraft, multi, often two or three aircraft flying through the track. All the positions are calculated out of GPS position together with estimated position calculation with the help of um, attitude calculation out of various aircraft sensors. We can analyze um, all the flight lines, of, of course. We can compare aircraft uh, um, with another, or pilot with another air pilot. We can show penalty analysis where we can show the decrease of the angle, how the aircraft is passing a gate. So the EFIS was the beginning of transmission of data to and from the aeroplane. The engine health monitoring was the next development, but key to future success in the Rebel Air Race is just what data you transmit to and from your aeroplane.